carrying on to the lecture 5 stream 2 in this lecture we will be discussing uh, simple multiple non-linear regression graphically we will have a look at it its graphical representations forecasting and uh, forecasting techniques in uh, this slide we will be uh, discussing the simple linear regression equation and multiple linear regression equation simple linear regression equation is y is equal to p naught plus b1 x1 where are looking into the multiple linear regression there is y is equal to p naught plus b1 to x1 b2 into x2 and go and then carries on to bn and xn the main point here to be noted is that y is a dependent variable that becomes dv and the ivs are x1 x2 and xn non-linear regression what what it states if the curve of a regression is not a straight line okay regression uh, regression ka jo curve hai wo straight line nahi hoga so the first degree equation is the variables x and y and then it is called a linear line regression or curvy linear regression so in the equations ko hum dekhte hain consider a cubic polynomial relation is relationship ki deep equation use hoti hai wo kis tarah se explain hoti hai y is equal to alpha plus uh, beta 1x beta 2x2 and beta 3x cube to convert above equation in linear form we define new variables so that what are those new variables that is x1 x1 x2 x square x3 is equal to and if x is x cube so if we define these in in this way thus the equation becomes uh, for the dependent variable y that becomes alpha plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus beta 3 x3 so this um, never shows the uh, right equation in which when we will have the, um, the parameters and the uh, the values available when we put that value so we can calculate the a dependent variable this is solvable by the method of least square here we can see the graphical representation of linear and non linear uh, in which uh, you can see the red line on the on the left top and you can see the red straight line so the blue dots are plotting data uh, above and below the regression lines linear line whereas we are looking into the non linear relationship so just we discussed it in the previous slide that it it is it will not be a straight line so it's the curved line going upwards and you can see the plotted data around it uh, in the left bottom the response and the concentration that is also uh, a curved line again discussing linear and non linear so you must know you must keep it in your mind then the uh, the dotted line uh, the uh, sp spots which are plotted on a straight line gives you the linear representation like this and if you looking into the um, right bottom pants the non linear one so the curve curve line is going upward and the other one the curve line is going to give showing us the down slope so a curve line going having up slope and the down slope yeah, will be explained as non linear whereas linear line it's a straight line and the data is plotted against that so this is the graphic representation one should uh, understand the basics of it what is uh, regression so from feature to predictions that is data towards regression and then towards intelligence so from data to regression it's in input x features derived from data learning x to y as a relationship and prediction y as continuous output or response to input so there are three different definitions related to the regression i have just given this brief uh, definitions of uh, it the population regression line the equation or line representing the true or actual underlying relation between the dependent variable and the explanatory variables whereas the sample regression line the line that best fits the scatter of data points in the sample and provides an estimate of the population regression line whereas hypothesis testing is the statistical technique for making up a probabilistic statement about the true value of parameters so in a true or regression line when we look at the example graphically and uh, through a tabulation form it is explained by the difference between uh, the, the sales the, the coordination between the sales and the monthly advertisement expenditure so regression line is this blue line which is going straight to true regression line is going up whereas 
if you look at the uh, advertisement cost the three thousand dollar on the y-axis and then it is increased from three thousand to four thousand you can clearly see the impact of monthly sales from twenty five thousand it moves towards thirty thirty thousand dollars so that is the impact of the advertisement if we look at the table below so uh, x company travel agencies expand expenditure y and the z companies uh, travel agencies expenditures of three thousand dollar per month on advertisement same for uh, all of all of the three with actual sales the first one is going thirty thousand the other is twenty one thousand and then twenty five thousand so expected sales for three of them they are targeting twenty five thousand dollars whereas the random effect is for the x company it is five thousand dollars they are very up on to the profit whereas for the, um, the y company it has gone minus four thousand and the uh, z company it is uh, on, on the par, so it it, it uh, gives the value of zero. It means not profit or loss. Uh, this means that advertisement. So there are two points which needs to be explained. The advertisement cost is in one block three thousand dollar. Does not mean that each and every company must get a uh, five thousand dollar profit. Some will go in profit. Some minus. Minus. Someone will remain the no profit, no loss thing. But the main agenda as uh, shown in the graphical representation here when the advertisement cost is expand is increased from 3000 to 4000 and then 5000 and going towards the 9000 so the sales will push from 25 to 30000 and then going uh, beyond the limit that is 25000 so just giving you the practical life example of Pepsi and Coke it is said that they spend heftiest cost right on uh, the advertisement you might have seen the advertisement in Pakistan cricket is famous so you have seen the uh, advertisement tags on the uh, cricketers uniform where are looking into the Europe the footballers or the tennis players or you know, bikers or motor motor car racing or even uh, you know, different sports so you can see the advertisement tags even on their uniforms on their uh, kits as, as well so that means that advertisement plays a major role into the sales of any brand the next point we will be discussing is the forecasting for what is forecasting forecasting gives you the future and the past so you get the data from the past that is gathering analyzing data about the past you can see dinosaurs and the old uh, tonga style uh, life there so getting the information and the data from the past to uh, fix your current scenario and then think about the future so future is use this data to predict the future and uh, to, to, to work in scientifically and to bring new products and new items to make life easier and uh, moving this world towards the scientific directions. In forecasting techniques we will be discussing uh, this table below but not going into that much detail only you must know that there are different techniques which are being used one or two which are famous I will reflect that. A forecasting technique there is a number one gen mental model then Delphi's model Delphi model is the, the model which is being used mostly and then uh, time series method moving average explanational smoothing and seasonality models these are those models which are being used for not doing the forecasting techniques whereas the casual method of regression analysis that is the famous most which is being used for forecasting techniques so Delphi model, model and regression analysis these are the the techniques which are used for um, academic research work.